What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. We are going through the national, the 2022 national stuff. Uh, I'm going to do it in series here, so hopefully you're catching some of the other ones or, and looking out for future ones. Um, today we are doing the singles club, and this is a place that I got lost in last year. And I told myself I don't even want to get over there because I know it's going to happen. I can't say no to the dollar boxes, uh, but I was uh, I wanted to go there and and um, Pick out some things. I got some things that you, you'll be seeing getting sent around here a little bit. And um, I, I wanted to do that because I have some other uh, YouTube buddies that uh, really love that dollar bin stuff and uh, couldn't make it. So we're going to we're gonna be seeing that around and about, out and about or whatever at some point. And so as I'm looking for my little gifts, I think I found some stuff too. Uh, but Scott did a good job of roping me uh, out of the the singles club, and uh, so I, I I didn't do nearly as bad as I did last year. And we're gonna do two parts of this just because there there are you know there are not that many, but I don't want to keep you here for 25, 30 minutes. We're gonna split it up into two, and uh, we'll go from there. There's a little story with that too. I'm gonna do it in part two of the singles club. So here's the first part of the singles club in no particular order, but I thought this was kind of cool. Hidden gems. Uh, kind of fitting to start the uh, the show off. Bunch of hidden gems in the dollar boxes. Um, this nice die cut Vladimir Guerrero for a buck. I couldn't pass it up. I don't know. Just uh, had to have it. Now look at this shine on this Reggie. Isn't that just a cool card? So I'll pick that one up. I don't know. Bryce Har Harper, Tops Finest. I just feel like he's undervalued. Uh, this Piazza. I don't know. This one might go for a gift for somebody, but it's the blue variety. I don't think there's a number of them now. <sighs> this is what happens to me. I already have this card, but Shiny Nomar, Holographics. Yep, for a buck. Nolan Arenado, I got to start collecting this guy, but this is a, uh, a Topps Chrome 87 variety. It's an older one, though, I think, right? Yeah, it's 20, 2017. Man, they've been really using the heck out of this 87 variety. For years now, I thought, you know, it's like the 30th anniversary, the 35th anniversary. Uh, they keep you keep using it. But metal cards? Oh, yeah. I've got a collection of these uh, Hall of Famers from the metal cards. So I never pass those up, especially for a buck. I love this card. Uh, I have it in my holiday box for like uh, Father's Day, you know, or whatever. But it's it goes along with uh, hugging and, you know, dudes hugging, you know. But this is the 150th anniversary of baseball uh, version there, so... Got that, so I'm kind of making a little bit of a, a rainbow going on there. So I think I, I might have had that one already. But anyway, uh, the 2011 Platinum Diamond uh, Hall of Famers. I'm working on that set. So that was in, Bly, Bly Levin's in there for a buck. Going to take that all day long. This nice Emmett Smith Top Stars. 1999, I think that says. Can't pass up an Emmett Smith card. Verdugo, I've been trying to add some Verdugo uh, into the uh, into the mix here now that he played for the Red Sox. I don't know what happened here. I think I saw one and saw saw the other one and didn't think I picked up the other. This one actually is really nice. But anytime you get a Hall of Famer playing for the Red Sox, you pick that up, and that's probably what I was thinking here. This one's a little... This one's nice. This is really nice. Man, this one's, that one's like, that one's really nice. Anyway, so I got two of those. Uh, you guys, if you've been watching my stuff, you know my Wade Boggs. Uh, one of one is uh, out of this series. It's a buyback out of this uh, finest uh, series. Love this. I saw this for, a, this was a buck. Uh, Greg Maddox, you get a pitcher with a bat relic. I love collecting those cards. I mean, absolutely just, I think it's just, Crazy, and it's going to get even crazier now that the DH is everywhere. Uh, so, pretty cool. So, I might make the run on that one. I might try to make the Hall of Fame run on this uh, this set, the original set. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh boy, we're getting all sorts of crazy here. Um, this is a mini. So you got the. Uh, 25 years of baseball cards. You get the uh, the Yaz Mini. Most valuable players. So for a buck, why not? Uh, be looking out. i got to get with my man Dustin and start back up our Killer Brews and Micro Brews. But uh, I thought that was just a sharp looking picture. It's a it's a new uh, fan favorite 
kind of deal, but uh, it's got his whole batting record on there, so that's it's a cool card to have. Just a good looking picture of Killebrew. So for a buck, it's probably not worth that, but I picked it up. Uh, I don't have a lot of bogs in New York uniforms, and uh, so I'm I'm trying to fill that in. But here's the uh, the Metal Universe. You get the the beehive. You're opening up the beehive, man. Messing with the beehive. He'll he's gonna get the hit on you, man. Low Palmer in the sunglasses is a classic card, guys. This is a, uh, I mean, this is one of the original kind of like funny cards, if you will. And Pat Neshek, uh replicated this. I love Neshek, man. He's a collector as well. Uh, decent enough pitcher, but uh, super great TTMer. But he replicated this in one of his cards. I mean, it's just absolutely cool to have that. So you always pick that one up. Here's another Nomar. Little no more action. Man, this Griffey climbing the, you know, jumping up on the wall. I buy that all day long. I have the electric diamond version of it, but I don't know. I just can't ever get enough. That card, this was one of the cards that you wanted, man. That's one of the ones. That was like one of the best cards ever back in the day. Hall of Famers, the Endless Summer, little Brooks Robinson. We're big fans of Brooks Robinson here at uh, the Four Leaf House. Uh, little Leaf and I have sent him a couple times TTM, and he is just so awesome. Sent us a note back. This Tory Hunter, I'm uh, I'm doing a rainbow on, and so I think I had this one, but I picked it up. I mean, it looks like he's eating his shoulder. That's one of the best funny cards around. A uh, little Topps Chrome, David Ortiz. Can't pass that up for a buck. Um, I saw this um, little John Franco here. Man, he pitched a lot. He played a lot. John Franco there, but with the uh, the headgear on for the funny card collection. That's the uh, collector's choice um, special edition. You guys get that. Uh, La Tortuga. Uh, Got to have it in the black white rookie. Oh my god, this is this is my spirit animal uh, player here. You know, like that guy makes me feel like I could play baseball. Anyway. I uh, got a couple of uh, cognacs here. Um, Aegon, which I think I had already, but it's a buck. And uh, D. Gordon with the... I thought that was a really cool, like, uh, in-the-air play from a funny card collection in cognac. How do you pass that up? An early uh, Fleer Mystique, Kevin Garnett, when he was playing for the Timberwolves. So, I mean, he's one of my guys here as a Celtics. This is an early uh, Scherzer. Second year or something like that. Yeah, it's like 2010. So it's an early Scherzer Chrome. So I picked that up for a buck. Why not? Same thing here. It's an early Kershaw, right? This is a second or third year kind of deal. Yep, 2010. You know, early Kershaw. Why not? I like the, it's just a, you know, a nice picture. Look at this black diamond. Brett Favre, originally somebody was trying to sell it for 20, but it was in the dollar box. And... Numbered out of 1500 All day long, we're taking that for a buck. Uh, my man, Julian Edelman. This is numbered out of $4.99. That's the camo version, so I picked that up for a buck. Art Monk? How is this even in here? Isn't this an Art Monk rookie? Pretty sure that's an Art Monk rookie. In really good shape for a buck. Poo, man. Troy Aikman, numbered out of 480. These were tough pulls, these uh, prisms, 99 prisms. Somebody was trying to sell it for 15 bucks. It was in the dollar box, man. Holy cow. I don't know. Tua, I took a chance on him. Tua, rookie. I don't know why I put this Joe Flacco rookie in there, but it's the Topps Chrome Joe Flacco rookie. Why not? For a buck. That's the kind of stuff I get. I, don't, I didn't need that. I should have put that back. Anyway, so there's a little pile of uh, the, from the dollar bin. We'll do part two on the next video. Appreciate you watching and all your time. Uh, be looking for some more coming from the National here. we got probably another five or six more parts coming to the series. And uh, if you guys are open anything, best of luck to you. Don't forget to collect to connect and have an awesome day.